Hey, my name is David Rizzo, and I'm going to present the work Learning Melodic Analysis Works. This is a joint work uh, between the University of Alicante, the Computer Music Group, and the Music Technology Group in, in Barcelona. Let's see. To, be, uh, to begin, let me put you in context the melodic analysis. The melodic analysis is just a part of the of, a, uh, or, or, of what we say tonal analysis. We can say that tonal analysis is a mean to better understand the thought of a composer when creating a piece. So, in a, mus in, in a musical work, <laughs> we don't have a, just a, a sequence of notes. Uh, not all notes have the same importance. So, if we don't want to, to play as a robot, that we need to, to, to discover the points of tension and relaxation in the in the work in order to, to give the stressiness and to, to the song. This can be done by first finding finding the chords. Then as the chords have a mission, have a what we say a tonal function, we can build this kind of chord. In the case of, of the the tonic chords, we have the, the lower level of, te of tension, it's the, the, the highest level of relaxation, and in the case of the uh, dominant chords, we have the highest level of, of tension. The tool we are presenting here was designed to, to serve as, as serve as a learning tool. So one of the objectives is to get a high uh, accuracy level, but also one of our objectives are to, to be able to explain the rules applied uh, to the student as using the, the, the system. There are, however, however, some other direct applications of the tool, for example, to, to be using expressive uh, auto automatic performance, or to be integrated in, in any other uh, music information retrieval system, to do automatic composition, to do score uh, reduction, speech spelling, or to be used as the system that outputs a sequence of chords to, to be used to compare harm, harmonically uh, works. There are some, th these are some of the more, most important works regarding uh, that, that deal with, with tonal analysis. None of them uh, focus specifically on melodic analysis. There are two ways of analyzing songs uh, from the tonal analysis uh, point of view. One is the, the classical vertical grouping of notes that compose uh, named chords, uh, giving this kind of, of sequences. And the other one, a more classical academic approach, that's the, to use the, the Roman number analysis with tonal functions and all these kind of things. This is our approach. Let, let's take a look. In academic tonal analysis, we have several steps that have to be combined, so no one can be applied one after the other, so we, we have to, to take a, 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 to have in mind a, a, all the parts, but um, I will uh, tell to you that in, in order. The first pass, path could be the melodic analysis. In the melodic analysis, we try to tag each note as harmonic or non-harmonic non tone. There are some clues that, that say to us that, for example, this note is not part of the harmony, or that this note is part of the harmony. We have put some red spots for, uh, to, to these notes. Then, having the melodic analysis, we can make vertical groups of the notes, just taking the harmony, uh, harmonic notes, um, taking out the non-harmonic notes, and then we can build a sequence of, of chords. Then, Using as feature the accident that's found in the in the in the in the song, we can imagine which is the which is the key and the, the tonalities, and uh, with the key and tonalities and chord progressions, we can get the degrees of the chords and also the tonal tonal functions. In previous conferences, we have presented a system that that solves this problem. Uh, more or less, um, first by computing a melodic analysis, then filtering out invalid or non-possible uh, tonalities uh, given the, the accidentals of the notes. And, and with that we build a, a layer weighted acyclic uh, graph that uh, contains all possible combinations of 
tonalities, chords, tonal functions, and corporations. And from that, we, we compute the best path in, in, the, in the graph and get the, the most probable um, tonal analysis. From this uh, global system, we are focusing now only on in the first part in the melodic analysis. Okay. It's important to, to, to note that the melodic analysis interacts with all the other parts of the, of the analysis. So we, we cannot decide just using uh, melodic features the correct melodic analysis because um, there are some interaction between everything. So the question to solve here in, in this work was we wanted to know how well we can solve the melodic analysis without taking into account all the other parts. So far, in the previous global tonal analysis system we used, uh, we applied first a, a simple uh, if then else uh, rule chain using Java programming uh, based on basic musical rules. And then we use a, a bit more sophisticated system using uh, some rules uh, made by a musicologist. Regarding the, the, the first one, the simple if then else. To, uh, to uh, conditions chain, uh, we develop very simple, uh, very simple conditions like this one. Um, we made conditions for the passing tone, for example, in this example, or for all these, all these uh, non-harmonic tones. This approach was very, very fast, but um, it didn't give a high success rate because it didn't cover many cases. So the next step which we took was to, to try to write, using a set of rules, uh, this, um, the knowledge of a musicologist. So we built a set of rules that covers many of the frequent situations found in, in, in melodic analysis. The problem is that so far we have, we, we have 40 rules, and, and each error found sent another case not covered by the by the rule system. So it it seems that this approach has no 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 end. So we have a new case for every new error. So the next natural step was to, to try to learn everything. Among the machine learning approaches we can use we have discarded the statistical approaches because as as I have said before we want to, to be able to, to explain with a human, uh, natural, uh, musical language to the user what, what the system does. So we use, we, we, we chose to use uh, rule systems. Among the other rule systems, uh, we decided to use Reaper by Cohen because we have a, a, an unbalanced uh, data set. We have many more harmonic tones than non-harmonic tones and the Reaper um, considers first the, the smaller classes. So, besides, we have to say that, that this classifier has given to us the best success rate. Now, let's see how the experiments uh, using this machine learning approach uh, seems to, to, to show that that's suitable. By now, we are focusing only on borrowed period. Um, we are working just in, in first in the in 10 uh, bars uh, harmonized chorals um, and we have used these chorals because from the academic point of view they seem to be a uh, kind of first to know the ability of the Reaper algorithm to, to learn the, mu the musical rules we um, train the system using the whole corpus and then the musicology the, the, the rule system output uh, as a, a series of rules and then the a musicologist analyzed all the rules applied in the in the all the rules extracted from the from the learning system and he tagged uh, each each tag as strongly agree agree neither agree and so on uh, these were these are more or less the results uh, from the extracted rules only one was for him more or less perfect Twenty half of the of the rules were acceptable, so he, he agreed with them, and half of the rules were not uh, 
they did not make, make, make sense. Let, let's see some representative cases now. For example, I uh, strongly agree this is a correct uh, rule, but mm, it has excess uh, antecedents. For example, in that case, in, for the apocatura, we don't need to have uh, this mode, uh, we, don't, uh, uh, we don't need that this is uh, less or equal, it should be uh, equal to two, the, the interval. For the agreed rules, this, this is the case for 20 of the structured rules. Uh, in that case, in, in many cases, there is a missing condition. The next interval uh, equals to two, and it, this seems to happen because uh, it's not. This is not a, a discriminant uh, con, uh, antecedent, so it's not in, in, in nearly any any of the rules. <coughs> in that case, it has a missing condition, uh, and also there are there is another irrelevant antecedent. So the musicologist decided to not agree or disagree. In this case, the musicologist disagreed because it's ambiguous and besides, it, it contains some strange rules like this one. Finally, this feature, I will not get, uh, get now into, into the details of the feature, but uh, for example, in this case, you can see that it has to be 13. So it, it seems to be an effect of the, of the, of the Reaper algorithm. So it's ambiguous, it's not useful. Okay, in order to, to be able to, to, to tell the accuracy of the system, we have to take into account that um, the melodic system has not enough information always to, to, to output the, the correct act, because it depends on the melodic, it depends on the harmonic, the harmonic system. So, for us, uh, we take that as success is, is when uh, the, the expected task was among the, the answers of our system. Now I, I'm going to switch to the uh, graphical user interface we have developed in JavaFX for letting the musicologist work and analyze everything that has, he has been done. That's it. Sorry, because, okay, I will not switch to the system. <laughs> <laughs> but as I knew, knew that, these are some, <laughs> some snapshots. And this is a system we have developed. The, the, you open the, the work. Sorry. Uh, in that case, uh, here we have the tax, the tax for the, the that the musicologist has given to, to each of the nodes. Then we choose the system we have we want to apply, and then we apply uh, the three systems. Here we have the the success rates. Uh, here the musicologist sees. Uh, can, can analyze uh, which rule has been applied. He has he knows which are which rules are not the correct, uh, which tax are not currently given. Uh, he knows the features. Uh, the decision has been uh, the, the rule system has uh, taken to take the decision. And besides, uh, he also knows the rule that has been applied in each case. Using that, this is the evaluation of the system and. Um, from the results, we can we can see that the Reaper obtains consistently the best success rate, taking into account uh, account again that some of the, uh, the errors done uh, cannot be solved just using fe uh, melody features. So, how do you define your accuracy? <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's what I have said. Yeah. What's the definition? The, the, the accuracy is the the, uh, the number of times that the the output of the system. Uh, Sorry, the expected value is among the, the outputs of the system. So uh, we have said before that these are three classic three systems. Okay, take uh, use that. Uh, here, the the success rate in this case uh, it's a correct, it's a hit when this the expected value is among the the outputs of the system. Okay, uh, these are high baseline because almost everything is harmonic, but you can see here that, that the Reaper is able to, to give a high success, success rate. But the success rate is not the most important for us. The most important for us is that, that the system is able to, to export a meaningful uh, rules. So, uh, one or another application of the, of the system, uh, this is a system by the MTC group in Barcelona. Uh, we have 
used the output of the melodic analysis and they have used this, 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 these tags as input for their, their automatic performance system. And they, what they do is just to, to modify the onsets of the nodes, the length of the nodes, to, to give some expressiveness. And they have found that by applying the input of the melodic analysis, by using that as features for their the, the, the automatic performance system, the, the, the system uh, plays more uh, as a human than, than, than without using them. So it has been useful. Okay, to conclude, I can say that, that we have seen that, that uh, uh, it's possible to learn the melodic analysis using a machine learning uh, approach, that the music theory rules are more generic because are de defined without uh, uh, specific cases, but if we merge all the rules exported by the, uh, generated by the automatic learning system, we get more or less the same rules. Nevertheless, we, can, we have to say that we have to say that, that the, the exported rules are valid to explain the user why a decision has been taken. Now we are uh, extending the data set. We are tagging all the words we can uh, from the harmonic uh, for us uh, by Bach. Uh, the musicologist now is in investigating, is, is checking all the, all the errors uh, done by the system to know whether we need to add more features and, uh, to, to, the, to the input of the system. We also I, are, are, we are applying also uh, inductive logic programming to be able to, to capture some short and long term relations between, between the nodes. And we plan to apply this kind of, 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 of setup to all the other phases of the, of the tone analysis system. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.